I want to show you um, how uh, PVC piping systems can provide both safe, clean drinking water and take away the waste that we all produce. We take it for granted that when we turn on the tap, we will get clean water and that when we empty the bath or flush the toilet, then the wastewater will be taken away and dealt with. Almost never do we ask ourselves where the water comes from or where it goes to. PVC piping systems are very durable. They have a, a lifetime in, in expected to be 100 years. There have been many studies carried out over the last 25 years um, of pipes that have been in service for between 15 and uh, 70 years. And all of these uh, exhumation studies have concluded that the pipe properties are unchanged over the service lifetime. And there's been uh, analysis of, of the results of, of the various exhumation studies. And uh, Stephen uh, Folkman uh, in the US has made a prediction um, that the service life of uh, at least 100 years can be expected. Now, we spend a lot of time and money making sure that the water is safe for us to drink. And it's, so it's important that we don't lose it. And PVC systems show very low failure rates and because the jointing system is so good, there are very low losses through leakage. For instance, in Cordoba in Spain, uh, the plastic pipe systems were used to replace existing asbestos cement pipes. And these, together with the proper installation of the, uh, the proper training of the installation crews, it led to a dramatic reduction of the failure rates of the pipe and the water losses from them, such that the percentage of water for which a bill could be issued rose from only 35% to 85%. Now, PVC pipes have extremely smooth, even glass-like surfaces, especially in the bore, and this is due to the extrusion and injection molding processes by which they are made. Unlike more traditional piping systems, these are retained throughout the service life of the PVC systems, so that we never see the kind of blockages that are demonstrated here with an, an iron pipe. And obviously, such fouling and blockage in the pipe uh, contributes to the increased uh, pumping costs for pumping the water through these, and leads to the discoloration and contamination of the water, which is unsatisfactory to the uh, end users. Corrosion is a key property. The structural integrity of an iron pipe will be compromised as a consequence of corrosion. Here, because of the corrosion, the service life can be limited to only 40 years when water utilities plan their asset replacement on at least a 50-year time scale. By contrast, PVC systems do not corrode. And as I said, a lifetime in excess of 100 years has been predicted. The first PVC water pipes were installed in Germany about 80 years ago. So this prediction of 100 years is not far from being um, an actual, actual fact. But it's important also to be able to provide uh, the whole pipe network uh, and to be able to connect it to those parts of the pipe that, 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 that may not be made of PVC, so the, the, the cast iron and other parts of the, of the uh, piping system. And the recent development of, of oriented pipes up to 800 millimeters in diameter now means that PVC systems can take our drinking water all the way from the, tri the, the drinking water producing plant right through to the house. I'd like to turn now and look a little bit at the removal of our wastewater and ask you what would happen if we didn't have a, a proper uh, waste removal system. Here's just a, a few ideas that, uh, of, of what, what, what you might end up with, but I think you'll agree that none of these are very satisfactory. What we really need is a piping system. PVC piping systems have been used for the removal of sewage in the last 80 years, and like drinking water pipes, they're predicted to last more than 100 years. The long life is due, is due to the fact that there is no corrosion, even when carrying fluids which are discharged into sewers from domestic and industrial premises. These fluids may contain very aggressive and highly corrosive substances. This lack of corrosion, along with the smooth surfaces that I mentioned earlier, means that PVC sewer systems do not block up like clay or concrete pipes, even when high solid substances are being transported. This lack of blockage means it reduces the energy needed to pump the sewage to the treatment plant. 
so reducing costs and giving us an environmental benefit. PVC systems are also very resistant to abrasion by the fluids they transport. Metal and concrete pipes get away, get worn away by the solid particles, the grit and stones and everything else that's in the sewage, especially at bends or elbows in the piping system. And this does not happen with PVC. They're also easy to install. This is because their lightweight makes them easy to handle without the use of heavy lifting equipment. You don't need any special tools to join them. We have simple um, push fit joints. You can cut and drill them with standard hand tools. As I say, the push fit joints give very good leak tightness to high stiffness pipes. And you can either with push fit joints or you, you, you can join them also with adhesives, with glue. The fact is also that the uh, white has a huge range of, of fittings and bends, which means that you can construct the whole piping system using PV systems, and the whole, so you can make the whole network that's required. As I say, PVC provides a whole system solution. From, this goes from the house to the sewer main, starting inside the home, taking the waste from our baths, showers, toilets and washing machines and so on, and the wide range of pipe sizes and the comprehensive range of bends and fittings and other parts allows connection to the sewer mains and larger diameter pipes. So you get a complete system. I'd like to say just a few words about the environmental performance of PVC. Because it's made using 54% fluorine, which itself comes from common salt, PVC is very resource efficient. Whilst there are some limits to oil-based raw materials, there are in excess of 200 billion tonnes of salt underground, and many times more than that are dissolved in the seawater. Also, the manufacture of PVC pipes is relatively benign to the environment. The graph here shows the impact on global warming during the manufacture, use and end of life of a PVC water pipe compared to its ductile iron equivalent. And then, of course, PVC pipes can be recycled at the end of their life. In 2014, close to 88,000 tonnes of PVC recyclate was used by the PVC pipe industry. This remains a fairly modest number since most of the pipes are still underground in service and haven't reached the end of their useful life. But the figure, this figure will gradually grow as they do reach the end of life, so contributing to the circular economy that was discussed this morning. <coughs> 